In 1847, a Hungarian doctor named Ignaz Semmelweis discovered something that would save millions of lives and destroy his own reputation. Working in a Vienna hospital, he noticed that doctors who didn't wash their hands between performing autopsies and delivering babies were killing more mothers through a mysterious fever. His radical solution? Mandatory hand washing with chlorine. His colleagues mocked him. Doctors are gentlemen, they sneered. Gentlemen's hands are clean. But Semmelweis knew the truth. Germs were murdering women. When he forced doctors to disinfect their hands, maternal mortality rates plummeted from 10% to less than 1%. His reward? Professional exile. Medical journals ridiculed him. Hospitals rejected his findings. Driven mad by frustration, he began publicly berating colleagues, writing increasingly angry letters denouncing their deadly practices. They responded by institutionalizing him in an asylum. In 1865, beaten and broken, Semmelweis was committed to a mental hospital. The doctors he'd tried to save beat him with clubs. He died two weeks later from an infected wound, likely caused by unwashed hands. His revolutionary insight, dismissed in life, would ultimately transform medicine forever, saving countless women from a silent, preventable death.